My name is Jack Waters. I graduated from Edinburgh University Medical School in 1977. Most of my career has been in the pharmaceutical industry and in the past decade or so I have been particularly focusing on access to medicines, particularly innovative medicines, uh, for people in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly relating to infectious diseases, HIV and AIDS. And I'm speaking today at the university's Global Health Academy event and I am thrilled that my university established a Global Health Academy. It gives us the opportunity to be an important player in global health. Global health in all of its forms presents some of the greatest challenges that we face today. I'm convinced that all major public health issues can be traced back to some form of inequity, mostly social inequity, in societies, whether they're across economic grounds, racial, gender barriers. And it's only when you can address those which are staring us in the face that I believe that the solutions to solving the problems fall into place. And I an academy like the university's Global Health Academy can play such an important role in that. So what will you be talking to today to the conference delegates? I'm going to talk today about the importance of educating girls. I'm often asked if there is a magic bullet for a lot of the problems around global health in the world and people expect you to say no, of course not. It should be all about partnership and uh, working together. That is of course true, but I do actually believe there is a magic bullet and that is educate girls. Girls in large parts of the world, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, do not have the same opportunities that boys do. And if you can offer them the same opportunity, they will go on to excel in the professions, they will make wiser health choices, they will marry later if they do marry, they will have fewer children, they will have fewer children later in life. That will greatly reduce their own mortality and infant mortality. And that ultimately has a tremendous impact on life expectancy and the quality of life in the communities in which they live. So I will be talking about educating girls as a key step to addressing many of the public health issues we face in emerging economies. How achievable is your recommendation given that I suppose in many parts of Africa women do most of the labour in, in villages and towns, they, they're very much um, the support for the, for the men and those roles I presume are very uh, ritualised, very traditional. You, you are, are almost trying to overcome centuries of uh, a certain way of doing things. Well, first and foremost, I do believe that the answers to the problems of Africa lie in Africa. And it is not for us, uh, whether academics, whether the church, or the non-governmental charity community, to try and change cultures and change behaviours. We can assist it, but I also know from my travels there that there are many, many girls who want to change that role themselves, who don't see why they should stay at home and look after their brothers or their fathers and look after the men, but they want to get out of the uh, traditional role and have a life and a profession for themselves. And the program I will be talking about is the Girl Child Education Fund, which is organized by the International Council of Nurses. Nurses traditionally in Africa, and in many other parts of the world, are female. And this is a program whereby girl children who are orphaned, usually as a result of HIV and AIDS, but uh, other diseases as well, and we're seeing a rise in non-communicable disease in that part of the world. But those girls who are orphaned are mentored and instructed by nurses, not only uh, in the nursing profession, encouraging them to go into the nursing profession, but first and foremost encouraging them to say it's, stay at school. And we have started small, obviously, um, with a few hundred, but it's 
having a difference and the attrition rate is incredibly low. I believe if you design programs for Africa, by Africans, with Africa in mind, you will be successful. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.